Welcome to LC Screen Talk. My name is Larry, and this is my review of Greta. We got these little promotional packs of gum in the screening. It's like, I'm like chewing gum. I tend to stick around. Hashtag Greta. Uh, I think this is such a cute uh, promo idea. It goes obviously with the film. That's a signature tagline of the movie once you see it. And it's a little bit kitschy, a little bit cheesy, but I thought this was like a really cute thing other than just the posters or whatnot. Now as for the film itself, this looked like a whole lot of fun to me. We have Chloe Grace Moretz, Isabel Huppert, all starring in this thriller with a somewhat novel idea, and it really worked in the advertising. And when it comes to the film, well, it only kind of worked. So let's go ahead and kick off with the positives. Our performances in this film are fantastic. I think Isabelle Huppert does a wonderful job as Greta. I think she is so good. She brings such an atmosphere to the role. It's always this haunting character in everything she does. And I think she really... But she sold the charisma as well, the haunting part of the character. Everything about Isabelle's performance worked for me. I thought Chloe Grace Moretz was really fantastic. She's a great scream queen. We've seen it before and she really brought out the emotional aspects to her character. This very vulnerable character. This character who was hurting and that vulnerability really shined through. Micah Monroe plays the best friend in this film and I also thought she was really fun, really funny. She didn't have a whole lot of extra to do but she brought a lot of charisma and much needed laughter to the film overall. I also think the film accomplishes a really kind of cool atmosphere. It's really evocative of a foreign film, a French film, if you will. Not only the music and Isabelle in one of our leading roles, but the pacing, the camera work, the settings, all of it really just reminded me more of a foreign thriller rather than a stereotypical American thriller that we're used to. And I thought it was a really cool vibe, a nice, creepy atmosphere. I loved the use of music in this film. And we do get some, like, really fun, creepy moments throughout the film. Unfortunately, I think they're beaten to death a lot of the times. But we get some nice moments to be had. Plus the concept is pretty cool and creepy and as I said, a little bit unique. We've seen the creepy mom and we will see it with Ma later in the year again, but it was a different kind of longing that worked for me. However, there are quite a few problems with Greta as well. As I mentioned in my positives, every time we get this like good creepy moment, it overstays its welcome and it feels overwrought after a bit. There's this scene with pictures on a cell phone that is a cool kind of creepy concept and then it just keeps like going and going. Chloe Grace Moretz's character is just like yelling the same thing over and over into the phone and you're like, oh my gosh, yes, okay, quit saying look back. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Like it was too much. Same thing, same thing at the restaurant with Greta in the window. It starts cool, and then it's just like overwrought, like da da da. okay, okay. <laughs> then at the end, Chloe Grace Moretz's character in the last entire third act had me pulling my hair out. I did not understand this like void of any type of character strength that came through. I can't say much more because it's obviously spoiler territory big time, but this lead character played by Chloe Grace Moretz, drove me nuts in that third act. <laughs> Horror tropes, thriller tropes definitely come into play of just pay attention, look behind you, maybe don't, just be stupid. <laughs> and I was like yelling it in my head at the screen. And in saying that, the film plays out pretty similarly to how you believe. There's a lot of times where you have to just completely suspend your disbelief because there are moments where you're like, wait a minute though, nobody decided to follow up on this or how did she accomplish this? Just lots of moments of, hmm, this doesn't quite make sense. And then you get 
completely predictable unfolding of the plot, especially near the end. There's this cool twist that takes place, but you see it coming a mile away. It does lead to an audience satisfactory moment, but there weren't many surprises to be had. It pretty much plays out exactly as you're anticipating. So overall, I think Greta is fine as kind of a passable thriller in general. I enjoyed that kind of foreign, creepy thriller aspect to the film, but these characters just didn't quite do it for me overall. Greta was by far the most interesting character, and the rest uh, left me screaming at my screen. <laughs> if you're looking for a fun thriller, I would say wait for rental on this one, honestly, across the board. While it brings the creep factor, it doesn't bring the thrill factor. If you're looking for horror, this is not the film for that. It will provide atmosphere, but I'm not sure it's going to provide an atmosphere that's palatable to a mainstream audience. I think this is a rental. It's fun enough. It has some good moments. Get you invested and in kind of cheering or yelling along at home. <laughs> But it's not up to quality for a theatrical price. So, those are my thoughts on Greta. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead, click like down below, and subscribe to the channel so you are always up to date on our latest videos. Also, join in on the discussion. Are you excited to see Greta? And what is your favorite of these mother figure type of thrillers? Let me know either in the comment section down below, or you can hit me up on Twitter. I love you all so much for your support. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!